Welcome to Mechanical Tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like part modeling, surface modeling, sheet metal enclosure design, plastic components design, product design, reverse engineering, simulation and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain how to create rectangle circle lofted flange. So left side you can see the folded state of the lofted flange and right side it's a flat pattern see this is the application of uh, this lofted flange so i'm going to create this so this is how it looks like So let's start now. Select the top plane, go to sketch, sixty. So here we have to apply the fillet. So 10 mm. Next, uh, draw a center line from here to this midpoint draw a circle and uh, diameter 2 mm so we have to trim this to maintain the gap here we can draw one more center line joining these two end points okay and uh, just uh, simply drag and uh, join the midpoint so this sketch is constrained now we have to make this construction see here come out of this sketch now select the top plane so it is 80 mm go to sketch draw a circle select this and this and make it tangent now select the circle convert entity and make it construction now trim this So, I have drawn two sketches and there is a gap between these two endpoints is 2 mm. So, both the sides. Now, go to sheet metal, select the lofted bend. So, we have to select the bend option and select this sketch and this sketch. see here and here we can give facet value 
as per requirement suppose if i give 0.5 see there is a gap so if we can reduce for high precision so it depends on the requirement and size of this component and say okay so this is how it looks like see here and uh, this is the flat pattern so i'm going to explain parameters of the lofted band see here these lines so i'm going to change e with each option see here if it is 0.5 the gap is more if i select the change the value to 0.1 the number of bends are increasing if it is 8.8 see it is increasing similarly number of bends see it is 2 if i say 10 see number of bends we can control in this manner 12 like segment length if it is 2 so if i change to 1 so it is become high precision if it is 5 so the gap is increasing so similarly angle 30 60 see it is changing so 20 it is reducing so this is the thickness suppose your sketch is here so i'll show you from the bottom so the, this is the sketch so you want to control dimension from inside so thickness is added outside so you can reverse the direction so you can control in this manner similarly radius if you want to control the bend radius so instead of 5 you can assign diameter thickness of the material still if you want to reduce it, you can reduce it see here or if you want to more you can increase it so mostly we follow with the chord length chord tolerances so th this is how we can control the parameters so if you want to move the sketch up and down so if you have more than three sketches so you can move it see sketch one is uh, this and say sketch two is this so we can move it sketch two and sketch one so this is this reorientation is useful when we have multiple sketches more than two sketches so this is how we can change the parameters of the lofted bend so this is brief about rectangle circular lofted flange thanks for watching